Welcome back to Jacob Clashes. In today's video, we're gonna be going back into the clan wars. Gonna be making fun of more attacks, guys. Also, you guys see the drip? But yeah, enjoy the video. We have a really bad war going on right here. The opponents have nine stars over seven attacks. Let's check out our attacks. We have a one star right here. Admiral Aokiji. Let's take a look-see. Aokiji going in with his, the no skill army that I like to use. I know he isn't that bad of an attacker, or is he? He might've been in a previous video already. Oh, that was really good actually. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out how he messed this up after a flawless start like that. Takes down that air defense and that air defense. How does he fail this, right? I guess maybe there's the sweepers that he could walk straight into. Okay, I see where he messed up. Why is it with my clan mates in heading directly towards sweepers? I don't get it. Homie didn't funnel. And why is that log roller going up there? I mean, I guess he wants to take out the eagle. But the clan castle comes out. Doesn't even have his warden for support. Honestly, I don't know how he... How does this get one starred? Okay, he's heading into sweepers. Still, not using any spells to support his... Oh my gosh. And it's all gone. He didn't use his warden. He had a fireball too. Did he run out of Wi-Fi or something? It just finished. His Wi-Fi might have given out, so I'll give him a little slack. I'll give it a five. A solid five as a start. There was one person who did really bad this war, and it was Zeki Rock. <laughs> um, here, let's have whatever Zeki Rocks. Um, yeah, 6% and a 20%. You guys have to see this to believe it. But let's see how Zeki Rocks got the 6%. Using probably Blizzard, just like what I did in my previous video. Oh, wait, no, it isn't even Lalo. It's Ice Golems. Hits a mine with his blimp and doesn't even make it to the core where he wants it to be. Doesn't use his invises. That is very interesting. And he gets... Oh, and he quits the attack. Oh, Zeki Rocks. That was definitely something. It wasn't good. We'll give it a negative two. So you entirely fumbled and then fumbled even harder by quitting. Not saying that was recoverable, but still, you could at least try for the two star. And let's go over to Zeki Rox's second attack. Yep, same exact army. You can only guess what's gonna happen here. Okay, you gotta use the warden ability, bro. He just throws the blimp in straight into a, oh my gosh. Aside from going straight into the, what's it called? The sweeper. He did all right, but he goes in right here at the bottom side. Oh my gosh, I don't believe this. He deploys a line of witches and then quits it. After that, guys, I'm seriously considering kicking Zeki Rocks. Just kidding, but maybe I'm not. That one, it, it's slightly better, I guess. He got 20%. Give it a negative one. A, a, a negative one. You guys can see on my hand. So let's move on to the one star I saw down here. Um, where is it? Okay, Emiyu Shiro. Let's see if this is the attacker. Oh, this is the attacker on Emiyu Shiro's defense. And he has a really weird army. Let's see how this goes for him. But he's starting in at this right side. Goes straight into bombs and kills almost half his giants. Yeah, just completely uncoordinated. And then without any funneling whatsoever... Every single hog rider's in on the raid. You know, this is just... He's a long way from being good at this game. And his hog rider split, which is why you should funnel. Let's hope he at least converge heals right here in the center. Nope, he heals a single pack of them. And this is going to be his demise. He is just going to get demolished at this back side of the base. Especially with that barb king. And all those wizard towers. And all those tesla. It is over for this guy. That Barb King put in work, though. It killed so many hogs. Oh, yes, the one archer 1v1ing the king. <laughs> now, I think all that's left is just these archers, so we'll speed that up. It's better than Zeki Rocks, but still pretty bad. After seeing that, we'll give it about a 4. I know you guys can see it on my fingers. A 4 out of 10. All right, in on the next one. It is their number 7 against our number 12. Let's see how everything unfolds, though. He starts off with... Zapping out an air defense, another air defense, another air defense, and now he's just, I don't know what he's doing. He's zapping out the sweeper, okay, and he is, oh my gosh, I don't believe it. No funneling, no funneling whatsoever. All eight E-drags in at the exact same spot. I don't believe what I'm seeing. And everything's going over to the side like it's going to if you don't funnel. Had he put one E-drag here, 
one e drag here and then s put it up through the middle everything wouldn't be doing this look what it's doing i have a funneling video on my channel but as you can see everything is kind of just dying out he took down a big chunk of the base but he didn't actually follow through and take down key points like the town hall you know like all these core defenses right here especially the queen yeah, expos all this is gonna crush him right at the back end of the space so we'll speed this up yeah he had a black mine right there another black mine taking down that one yeah this last guy just dies to an archer tower so pretty bad attack not gonna lie didn't even attempt funneling whatsoever i will give that attack a three out of ten but i think that's it for the attacks in this war there's not any other really good ones and hey if you enjoyed the video Hit the like button so we this video goes out there to more people. And if you're new here, I do a whole bunch of other stuff on my channel. So click that subscribe button. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day or night. And uh, bye bye.